Hello again, and welcome back to the world of Maria. This is the DYN map plugin again. Uh, you can see I've got all these little icons for different areas of the world. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So you can see a little bit better, and let me just kind of zoom in tight on this is Rowan, and you can see all the cool features that it has to offer. Uh, over here is like a little menu where you can select what you want to show. Like if I turn on towns, it shows me uh, the town of Rowan, the city of Rowan, whatever, the area that's selected. So this whole red box is, it all belongs to Rowan and you won't be able to build in here or do anything unless you purchase a chunk of this land in which case it'll still be a member of the nation which is why this is this color of red uh, you can change each nation can have its own color and eventually fourth wind down here is going to be part of another nation and it'll be a town I just haven't set it up yet and uh, it'll be blue I think I haven't decided yet if I want to make this the red town and not the blue town. Uh, I think I have red banners in here, and then I think I have blue banners on this one, although on the roof the flags are red, so it's kind of hmm, iffy. But I think the flags on this roof are also red. So, But you can also, it'll show you the player uh, over here. You'll see like a little icon of the guy's face and then his screen name. You can click on his face, and this will pan as he walks. It'll keep him in the center. So it's kind of cool. The other thing I wanted to show you on here is these little quick travel um, things that I made. And let me go to this view because it's a little bit better to see uh, what they are. And you've seen them before. It's just a plugin called Quick Travel where you walk onto this thing. You type slash QT space and then the name of the town that you want to quick travel to, and it just poof, you're there. But you can't go there until you find them. So when you come into the server, you're going to spawn here. And I'm probably going to rebuild what spawn looks like eventually. So if you come onto the server and it doesn't look like this, don't be surprised. I'm t thinking about making a website that has all the rules and different commands you can do. And then I'll have like probably make some videos doing like tutorial walkthroughs of how to start your first town, how to set up shops and how to use you know different commands that some will be available to all players some will only be available to people who um, have built a substantial sized town and then you'll start getting freebies like being able to um, make shops in your town stuff like that and that's kind of going to be a judgment call on my behalf or if I have other admins that get promoted if they are flying around or they're like hey come check out my town and I go look at your town and I'm like wow this is amazing then I'll probably promote you up and give you better abilities more commands stuff like that but so when you first log in you'll pop in kind of like right here where this dot is just a little pedestal in the middle of this building and then you can walk down here to this quick travel which when you go there you'll see like slash QT space and then list and it'll tell you all the places you can go and when you first come onto the server it's going to be empty because the only place that you can quick travel to is spawn and since you're already there they don't doesn't show up on the list you can also type slash spawn to just teleport bam right here um, you can do that from anywhere and it kind of I think I'm going to leave it that way because if you get hopelessly lost out in the woods somewhere and you know you're being attacked by things and you're just getting killed i don't want you to have to die and then have to you know wander around trying to find your body again i, I think i'd rather just have you have a safe way out you can just type spawn and go here and then you can walk to the quick travel and quick travel to one of the ones that you found but when you start out i'm going to go to this view because it's easier to see there's a little trail that kind of leads back into this jungle here and it'll wander off this direction comes back over here and it will lead you right to the front first gate of Rowan so you can find Rowan right away I want everyone to be able to find Rowan and it's not that far of a walk it will only take you like a minute to get here and 
as long as it's daytime, this gate will be open. So you can come inside and go play around, do all your cool stuff, and check all these things out. There'll be like shops in the market. I'll probably have some more shops down here between the library and the arena. And um, there's like a tavern here, which I may end up putting like a bulletin board type thing out front. So if there's like adventures based on this town, and I'm going to be actually having NPCs on this world where people can come into the town, go find an NPC, get a quest, go on a quest. Hidden throughout the world are going to be dungeons that some will be like, oh, I found a cave while I was playing around and, and I populated it with some treasure or something. Uh, there's natural occurring ones on here, you know, that the world generated itself. But I'm going to build some sophisticated ones. And, and like I said before in some other movies, there's a uh, treasure chest plug-in that will make sure that the treasure chest is always full when you first find it. it. It, like, remembers who's found it. And if you haven't found it yet, it'll let the items still be in there. So there'll be NPCs that'll give you quests, or you can go find things that'll tell you about different dungeons you can go explore. I'll, from time to time, be adding some story to this and maybe put some things, you know, if you go to the taverns or the inn here. Um... You can learn about things, you know, talking with the innkeepers or the bartenders and stuff like that. Maybe you can come join the the guards for Rowan. I don't know how involved uh, this game is able to get based on the NPCs, because you can set up guards and stuff, but it's going to be really boring if you're a town guard. And, uh, you know, there's nothing going on in the town, because really the only place people can fight is in here in the arena, and that's just these two chunks right here, which is the arena floor, is where you can fight. And uh, the rest of the town inside this red area is uh, PvP is turned off, so you won't be able to fight. But um, anyway, that's how it is, you know. But you may find other towns that other people have created where PvP is turned on, and that's how they like it. They want it to be more of a deadly, like, frontier town or something. In which case, they may have city guards there. And you can just, you know, join that and patrol the place. But, uh, really, I just, I, I wanted to show you the whole world, just the whole world map. And then, you know, I think it looks more impressive when you're in, in this view, just because you get, you know, a 3D, like, rendered thing I think it just looks pretty cool and you can see like the little NPC villages I also built this giant mountain this took me quite a while I, I the way I created it was a I copied a huge chunk of earth and just raised it up like a hundred blocks or something like that and then I went through and, and grabbed another chunk and then copied it up like another hundred blocks uh, probably not that much because I think the very peak of this mountain is it's well above the clouds I think the clouds are like in this area of the mountain if you can kind of see this this is the mountain outline right here kind of comes down and down, down down but when you're standing at the base of it right here it's it's really impressive and uh, it, it's just huge in fact I think I'm gonna pause and then you can see for yourself what it looks like. So hold on, I'm going to pause and I'll be right Okay, so we're back in Minecraft. You can see here is the mountain and it's that's the peak and I need to click in here so I can move around. So there's there's the mountain, there's the peak. And it's a little jerky because I had to turn my render distance up like really far so you can see it all. And uh let me just fly here for a second so you can kind of get an idea of how big it really is. So this whole mountain was hand built and it's it's pretty huge. And it's got, you know, I put some trees on it. I I wanted the mountain to not be hollow. Or, or solid stone or something of that nature because when you build you use like gravel or sand typically and you just make a bunch of globes and then you drop them 
You can see some, there's some mines and stuff underneath this mountain right there. I love how it renders the underground before it renders the surface. <laughs> Seems backwards to me, but... So yeah, there's like this plateau on the mountain there. Uh, I think I've got... This might be like a little waterfall. If it wasn't frozen. Oh, there's some water there. There's some weird little artifacts of snow floating in the air. I think there might be... I don't know, I may have waterfalls turned off or something. I'm not hearing anything as far as like water splishing sounds. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe I am. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big mountain. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys was uh, the Dynamap plugin. And uh, this mountain's kind of just like a little bonus. Thanks for watching.